north is 1.38, and I guess they want me to find the angle. So I see an S, I see a theta, I see an R, soar. The S is the R, 1.38. The theta is what I don't know, and the radius is 4. Solve the theta, divide by 4, and you've got your answer, Google. 0.345. Radius. Good? Good. Write it down. Go over it. What else? More. Evens. I want evens. C8? C4. C4 first. All right. Yeah, I need sections. I need sections. C4. An arc of a circle has six centimeters. All right, so here's a circle. The arc is six. And the central angle is 86 degrees, and I have to find the radius. All right, there's an alert here. I'm a, being alerted to something. I know I got sore because I have the angle, I have the angle and the arc and the radius, so I know I'm using sore. What is the alert? What am I worried about? What am I alerting myself about? Are you videoing me? Yeah. And I went, uh, like that? Yeah. Great. Now nice twice, actually. Nice job, Ryan. Ryan, you got to warn me when you start videoing. Oh, yeah. I said okay. before. I got to go in video mode now. It's like degree mode, video mode. All right. All right, children. Um, what, is the, what is the thing that I'm worrying about with this problem? Look at the problem. Look at the numbers. What's worrying me? Degrees. It's in degrees. Correct. You can use SOAR in degree mode. So i got to change this to a radian. So I'm going to put the arc is 6, but instead of 86 degrees, I'm going to put 86 pi over 180. That's how you change degrees to radians. You multiply by pi over 180 <laughs> times the radius. And i got to solve for the radius. So now, in my calculator, I'm going to take the number 6 and I'm going to divide it by 86 pi over 180. What do you want to do first? Do you want to get this decimal first? Yeah. Put that in the calculator. All right, let's see if somebody can type that in correctly. Who's going to be my calculator boy? Hashtag Jimmy. <laughs> you didn't do it, no. Okay. So when you type that in, just be careful with the um, enter. You have to do 86 times pi, enter, and then divide by 180. Get the decimal, and then solve. So you got 1.500 zero, zero, blah, 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 blah. Just now, take the number 6 and divide by the answer. So do 6 divided by answer. You can actually write the word answer. It's above the negative key. Second negative, right. And then there's the answer. So it's 3.997. I don't know if I had to round it off or not. It'll always tell you to round it off if you have to. Okay. Can you round it off anyway? No. Never round a number off unless they ask you to. Good question. All right, what else? Evens. More. D4. D4. Beautiful. D4 says. <laughs> two straight roads intersect at an angle whose measure is 125 degrees. Which expression is equivalent <laughs> to the cos of 125 degrees? Okay, so what I'm thinking, if I look at the choices, I'm thinking they took 125 degrees and changed it to an alpha. So let's do that together. <coughs> Cosine of 125. I draw the theta, the 125. I take the terminal side in the x-axis, and I note that that's my alpha. How do I calculate that alpha? What do I do? Tell me. Tell me. Michaela, how do I do that? 180 minus 125. Right, 180 minus 125. And I get the cos. I cross out the 125 and I write 55. But what do I have to remember about this? It's negative because it's in the second quadrant. It's really 55 degrees in the second quadrant, which means the cosine of that angle has to be a negative value. 
don't forget it. Yeah, because they'll, they'll give you the cos of 55 as another choice, hoping you'll forget that it's a negative. Do you understand why it's negative? Yeah. Dan, Dan? It doesn't have negative on the answer. What are you talking about? Good. You would. <laughs> All right, more, more evens. Dan, pick one you got wrong. Even, an even that you got wrong. You got it. E six. I was expecting a lot of problems with the E's because these are the more difficult. There's a lot of calculation, a lot of reference material. Shh, shh. All right, write yourself a little note. When you're calculating, I want you to do it in degree measure. Degrees. Unless you're doing SOAR, you're always in degrees. So the first thing I want to do is get all of these radians in degrees. I multiply by 180 over pi, so the pi's die. die. 180 over pi, so the pi's die. So what do I have here? The sine of, what is that? <laughs> divided by 4, though. Because oh. it's 3 times 180 divided by 4. You say that? Yeah, no, I was just in the degree. What do I got? 1, 35. And then I have the cos of? Shh. 180. 180. Okay, so now you're going to calculate. You're using your reference material, no calculators. To find 135 degrees, you're going to have to find an alpha angle. You draw 135. It's in the second quadrant. This is going to be positive right away, I know. Sine is positive in the second quadrant. I calculate my alpha by taking 180 and minusing 135, and I get 45. I cross out my 135, and I put 45. What is the sine of 45 degrees? I look at my 45, 45, 90. I label the ratio of the sides. And I do sopa toe to find the sine. 1 over rad 2, which is? Rad 2 over 2 when you rationalize it. Still not done, though. I still have to find the cos of 180. How do I find the cos of 180? I look at my little cosine circle, and I get negative 1. Cuckoo? Chris, you good? Yep. Okay. I think what I did was I made this over negative. I, made, I just cleaned it up. I made this uh, negative 2 over 2. Put them under the same denominator. I really don't even care about that. I'm more concerned about the signs and the trig answers. What else? Jimmy? Um, like D2 is expressed as positive <coughs> angle or zero to the negative angle. Okay, that's a really good question. What was it? The cos of 250. Okay. This is on D2, guys. This is a technical question. I want you to understand this. When I say express this in a positive acute angle, that's telling you, in so many words, that's telling you to find alpha. Because the definition of alpha is a positive acute angle. It's always a positive angle. So that's how we got, what did we do? 250. And the alpha came out to be, how do I calculate in the third quadrant, the alpha? Let's just go over that real quickly. Minus 180. Yes, you take the 250, subtract the 180, and then you're going to get, what was it? 70. So now I replace with the 70. Because it was a third quadrant angle, the angle isn't negative. The value of the cosine of 70 is negative. So that's why I put the negative on the outside. So whatever the cosine of 70 is, it's going to be a negative value. You all with me? All right. What else? Eight. E8. All right, I want everyone to look at E8 and see if they got this one. Something tricky about it. <coughs> well, the first trick is it's in function notation which can trick some people. Then the other trick is there's a square. So we're going to take the sine of x and multiply it by the sine of x. 
And then there's a 3 on the outside of that, so we've got to multiply by 3. So let me write this all out first. We're going to take the number 3, and we're going to multiply it by the sine of x times the sine of x. Did you understand that? So far so good? Okay. Now, what am I going to evaluate this at? What, what angle is that? So right away, I'm going to change this to an angle. How do I change radian to an um, angle degree, I mean? 80 over pi. It's 180 over pi, so the pi's die. And I get 30 degrees, 180 divided by 6. So now, wherever I see an x, I'm going to put in the 30 degree. 3 times the sine of 30 times the sine of 30. To calculate the sine of 30, I need my 30, 60, 90. I look at it, and I do Sokotoa, and I find a half. And don't forget from the last chapter, what is this 3? It's a 3 over 1. When you multiply fractions, the 3 gets multiplied by the numerator, and then the denominators get multiplied. Better? Yes? Um, why is there a 3 sine x on the other one? 3 sine x. You see right here, this was the problem, 3 is being multiplied by sine squared. So sine squared is really sine x times sine x, and then there's, that's being multiplied by a 3. What did you want to do? No, I just, I was thinking, I thought that was appropriate. You're thinking distributing. Only if you're adding, then you would distribute through an addition or a subtraction. That's a good question. Yes? Can you go over E4? E4? Yeah. E4. Yeah, I think that one's... I know why, too. It's the negatives, probably, too, that gotcha. All right, the first thing you did is put them in degree. So what is the degrees here? Secant of negative 180 plus cosecant of negative 90. Okay, so now what I have to do is i got to use my special circles. Let me write them down. The cosine one, the sine. Okay, I'm good, going to be written down on a piece of paper for you. i got to find the secant of negative 180. What you might want to do is find the reciprocal, which is, what is the reciprocal of secant? Cos. Cos of 180. But you're finding the cos of negative 180. But negative 180... If I start here and I go negative, that just means clockwise. So negative 180 will bring me right here. You with me? It'll bring me in the same spot. So what's the cosine of negative 180? Negative 1. And you can write yourself a little note. That's negative 1. What's the reciprocal of negative 1? Because I'm not really finding the cosine of negative 180. I'm trying to find the secant. So what's the reciprocal of negative 1, guys? which is negative 1, exactly. Plus, now let's do the cosecant of negative 90. The cosecant of negative 90 would be the reciprocal of the sine of negative 90. Let's find the sine of negative 90. Going down 90 degrees, negative 1. So, if the sine of negative 90 comes out to be a negative 1, and I want to find the reciprocal, the reciprocal of negative 1 is negative 1. Does it make sense? So it's negative 2. That one you had to do a little thinking. And I think it's easier to use sine and cosine and then flip the answers. Take the reciprocal. All right, more questions on even. You all got number 10, E10, foiling. Okay, let's go to that last section, the F section. These are like miscellaneous problems. <coughs> F2? All right, in this example, you're given one trig function, and you have to find another one. So to do this, I would draw a picture. Did you? Okay. What quadrant did you pick? Yep, very good. You picked the right quadrant. So, so far, so good. Now, when you know you're in the second quadrant because the sine is positive and the tan is negative, 
When you draw your picture, I want you to lightly draw a bow tie. Because one of the things people do wrong is they label the triangle incorrectly. If you're in the second quadrant, this is what your picture should look like. Your hypotenuse is here, your adjacent side, and your opposite side. The angle, the alpha angle, is the one you're actually starting from. That's the angle you're looking at when you do opposite and adjacent. So let's label this. The opposite, the adjacent. Something's wrong. What's wrong with that 3 and the 5? It says negative 3 and 5. So I put negative 3 and 5. What's wrong? You can't have a negative 1. The negative's in the wrong spot. This is not a negative 3. It's going up on the, on the y-axis. This is a positive 3. The negative is on the 5. Now, I didn't know that because they didn't really put the negative near a number. They put it on the outside of the fraction, so I wasn't sure. The negative is either on the 3 or on the 5. It's got to be on one of them. All right, so now I have to, did you do the a squared plus b squared equals c squared deal? And if you do that, you should get 9 plus 25, so that's 34. And then you square, so you get a square root of 34. Did you have that? Okay. Now I just got to find the sine. So the sine of the angle is going to be OH, 3 over the square root of 34. Did you have that? What did you, you do wrong? You put negative. OK. I see why. And then don't forget to rationalize. Zach, what's up? What are you talking about? Oh, mine said the sign. Wait, 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 did I read it wrong? It says the sign is greater than zero, but it says find cos. Oh, that's the sign. You're right. The cosine is AH, so it's negative 5 over. Okay, I'm sorry. I read it wrong. So the answer should be negative 5 rad 34 over 34. That's the cosine. Now it's right. <clears throat> Cuckoo, do you understand it? Practice. You just got to keep on practicing. Practice, practice, practice. How about like 6A, B, C, or D on the last section? Are you getting the quadrants? I always think sine, cosine, and tangent to do the quadrants. I feel like it's easier to do it that way. How about the minutes? Did you all get number eight? How many minutes? You know what I do? To do the minute problems, I calculate the minutes out of 60 minutes. So I think in this example, what was it, 24 minutes? So what I do is they give they give me the minutes, 24 minutes out of 60 minutes. And if I had to change that to degree, I would say how many degrees out of 360 degrees. But they didn't want me to change it to degrees. They wanted me to change those minutes to radian. So it's how many radians out of, what's the total number of radians in a circle? Two pi. So it's a ratio, you know, a proportion. So you're going to cross multiply. So you'll have 60x equals 48 pi divided by 60. And then 48 divided by 60 is 8 tenths. Cuckoo? What else? All right, so now what I think you should do to get ready for tomorrow is I think you should do all the odds. You've got to get a clean piece of paper and just make sure you can do all the odds. I'm going to give you all the answers printed out. I'll be available today after school if you want to stop in and do a couple of problems that you don't get. <laughs> you don't have to video th this. Video Bob. Hi. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think you can video him. He's a minor. Oh, right. You're getting it. It's illegal. Later in the video. Someone's going to take his head and do something bad with him.
It's already Photoshop it. Badly done. Bobby yeah. Blue's head on something else. <laughs> Could be scared. I'm getting Ryan's head. So is the camera. Mm -hmm. So what's the story? Who's got the hundreds? Should we guess the Bobby test? Bobby has his phone on and Yeah. Should we ever play guess the test? No. 